Hey everyone, how's it going? As you can see, I got myself a new TV. To, not today, but I got myself a new TV about a week ago. Uh, leading up to Black Friday. The LG G1 OLED EVO TV. Uh, 4K. Uh, and on top of that, I also got myself this. The Panasonic UB9000. I think I got this from, is it TSB or TBS? I can't remember what the name of the store was. Now this is a 4K Blu-ray that plays multi-region Blu-rays and DVDs. It's heavy as hell, um, but yeah. Uh, I, again, I have I've removed this one. To be honest with you, I've removed this one. It comes with um, a four. It comes with a HDMI cable and a free movie. And the free movie I decided to get with it was Scarface. So yeah, look forward to checking that out. Um, haven't put it up on the wall just yet. Uh, Rita Sounds is the store I, re I got it from has uh, organized for an engineer to come over and put it up and calibrate it but that will happen um, on the 30th of November so that is like a, a, over a week since I got the TV anyway so yeah the story with this TV is that as you remember I had a previous LG TV uh, LCD TV so this is my first OLED so I had a previous LG uh, LCD TV and you could kind of see some kind of blue tint to it it was almost like somebody poured uh, blue paint over it it was kind of like you you could kind of see like a blue line or blue portions of the TV and other things like that it was extremely noticeable when you took pictures of the TV as well so the blue was emphasized even more so that way I contacted Richard Sounds told them about it they asked me to take pictures let them see for themselves I took pictures they saw for themselves then they said oh it needs a new part we'll order it and we'll organize for an engineer to come over and sort it out so the engineer came over oh, excuse me no so I took the pictures I've been wait I had been waiting for the part to come over. Um so I heard from them in October and the original time I called them was in June or July. So I heard from them in October. They said that they can't get the parts. LG doesn't make them anymore and the parts are not in their warehouse anymore. So they basically voided the TV. Then they decided to give me store credit for the TV. I got the TV for about £500. This one, I mean, I got the TV for £500. They gave me store credit of, I think, £400. So they were asking me what TV I was interested in. At first it was the CX, then later it was the C1, then the G1. Um, so we did talk about the G1. And basically they gave me the G1 for half the original store price which is amazing, you know, uh, and a huge surprise to me as well. This one has four HDMI 2.1 ports. R apparently, it's really good for gaming. And yeah, um, the screen is supposed to be a little bit brighter than usual, but I wouldn't know because this is my first OLED TV, so I can't have nothing to compare it with. Oh, and on top of that, like I said, I had the six-year warranty with the previous TV and basically it's now void so what the what the manager ended up deciding to do was he got me he gave me a six-year warranty on this one and on top of that he added the additional leftover warranty from the previous TV on top of this one as well so I roughly have about an eight-year warranty on this TV so also that is amazing so I have this TV for Close to a decade, I guess. Um, but yeah, I look forward to playing games on this. As you can see, I'll just come uh, go in here. Yeah. So as you can see, self lit OLED. Uh, thank you, um, true cinematic experience. Um, here as well, G Sync. And video G Sync Apple Air, or yeah, so you can see that's the gallery display. Uh, 
yeah display design so and it comes with the wand remote as well so there you have it guys uh this was whew. uh so i'm waiting for them to mount it anyway i've spoken long enough thank you very much for watching <laughs> If there's any other updates, I will do that down the line. I'll maybe do like an update video or a review when the time comes. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Have a good one.